Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Coach Colin Castello with ShopMechanics.com and this is NBA Shooting Secrets Kyrie Irving Edition. Kyrie Irving isn't only one of the most skilled ball handlers in the NBA, but he's also one of the best shooters. The main reason that I love Kyrie as a shooter is because he can shoot in pretty much any situation. He's not just a catch and shoot sort of guy. He can shoot off the move, he can shoot off the step back, he can shoot off the dribble. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down a few mechanics that will help you become a dynamic shooter just like Kyrie. Now we at Shot Mechanics have a little bit different of a philosophy than most shooting coaches out there. We don't necessarily believe that there's one specific right mechanic for every step of the way. But more so, we like to think about what's most important to specific shooters and what works for them. Not everybody's gonna feel 100% comfortable with the exact same mechanics, so what we do as shooting coaches is we try to figure out what works for you and what you can tweak to make it as comfortable as possible, but still get great results. So before we break down Kyrie, we just wanna give you a big thanks for helping us reach over 2 million channel views. And to say thanks, we wanna give you a free copy of our 10-minute shooting trainer. Just click the annotation in the upper right-hand corner, or if you're a mobile viewer, just click the link in the description. You guys have been so incredibly supportive, so thank Thank you and let's just keep this trainer rolling. So the first thing that we love about Kyrie's shooting mechanics is his shooting wrist. So Kyrie Irving does a tremendous job of locking his shooting wrist before he shoots. This helps his jumper out for a couple reasons. The first reason is consistency. To be consistent you want a lot of your excess motion to be at the start of your shot rather than the finish. Any excess motion in a jump shot is just another thing that can go wrong on the way to the release. Many shooters make the mistake of coming into their shot with a flat wrist and then cock their wrist at the last second. So many times that little extra movement at the end of their motion can cause them to miss. Check out here how Kyrie keeps his wrist locked as he's getting ready to explode into his jumper. The second benefit to locking your wrist early is optimal ball rotation. Generally, this will give you a better snap to your wrist on your follow through and give you better rotation on the ball, giving it a better chance to go in. So next time you're shooting, go ahead and check that wrist and make sure that it's just like Kyrie's locked and ready to rock as you're bringing the ball up. All right, the next thing I love about Kyrie's mechanics are his eyes. So one of the things that I think makes Kyrie one of the best shooters in the league are his eyes. He's a master at finding his target early, locking in on it, and then delivering an on-point jumper. Let's break down the play where he absolutely destroyed Brandon Knight. Now this was an absolutely filthy step back move, but it doesn't do any good if he doesn't hit the jump shot. Look at how early Kyrie finds his target with his eyes. He's launching off his front foot into his step back and he's already got his eyes locked on the target. Like any hand-eye coordination sport, generally the longer you look at your target, the more accurate your shot is going to be. It seems crazy to say, but it's true. A lot of young players that I work with just never even look at the target when they're getting ready to shoot until the very last second. And then to cap it off, he maintains his focus all the way to his release, even though Brandon Knight is hitting the deck in front of him. So just always keep in mind, it's just like any hand-eye coordination sport. The longer you have to aim at your target, probably the more accurate you're gonna be. And finally, our last favorite mechanic of Kyrie's is his arm extension. And finally, I'm absolutely in love with Kyrie's extension of his shooting arm on his follow through. Lots of players tend to miss because they either snake bite where they release and then retract their arm really quickly, or they don't fully extend their follow through and it stays bent even though the ball has left their hands. After Kyrie releases the ball, his arm is fully extended every time giving him optimal arc and optimal consistency. If you're fully extending your shooting arm, it's a lot easier to be consistent with your release point every single time. And that about does it for us. If you want to, leave a comment in the section down below letting us know who shot you want to see us break down next. If your mechanics are different and you're having a hard time hitting jump shots, like let's say you have a flat wrist instead of a cocked wrist, try changing it and seeing if it works for you. Or click the annotation in the upper right hand corner and get a free copy of our 10 minute shooting trainer. It's worked for hundreds of people and I guarantee it'll work for you. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with ShopMechanics.com. The channel is dedicated to helping you get buckets. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we see you again.